Richard. I'm a preparator at Waikatoa Museum. I've been working here for nearly six years. My role as preparator consists of a huge um, array of different tasks that we have to do. For starters, we we do exhibition maintenance, which is going. we go around the building every morning, clean, check all the lights, make sure all the electronics are working. Um, so in, in a normal day, that would be the first thing that we would do. We do construction and building, welding, steel work, spray painting, mount making, framing and matting. We apply vinyl graphics, AV installation, do lighting, art handling and transportation, do hanging and installation of artwork. There's a lot of one-offs that we do as well. So, so most people don't have any idea what happens behind the scenes here. Um, when I first came here, I had, had no idea that this job existed and, and that's why I totally fell in love with the, with the work and um, I think a lot of people come into the museum and they just see, see the exhibitions and don't actually think about how it all got there. So there's a lot going on behind the scenes. My team consists of six other preparators, an exhibition designer and a graphic designer. Uh, we all work closely together and because there's a multitude of different tasks that we do and as part of our job, we do tend to specialise within the team. One person more, much more specialised in picture framing, one is an electronics engineer, so of course any tricky electronics and computer stuff he takes care of. But then some of us, are, our strengths are more in t uh, building timber work and some are more steel work. So we do, so we do work together like that. Um, we, we all use our own strengths to get the job done. We work closely with our exhibitions designer. Each time we change over an exhibition, the walls are reconfigured into a different layout so we have a walling system which was designed by one of our team. It's a modular system so we're able to pull it apart and then change the configuration and put it back up again to whatever shape that we want to. We work closely with the collections registrar and we take all the artworks out, carefully take them down to collections and put them back into the, into the racks where they live. So then the second part is um, we remove any temporary walls and also any exhibition furniture that we're not going to use in the next show. So there we have a clear space after that and that's usually around a week what makes this job great is that every day is different and there's always something unexpected that you have to do. You never really know, it could, you know something could come up and you, you never know what it's going to be. Um, a lot of the um, things that we create in here are one-off and so it's always a challenge to how am I going to do this, how am I going to make it, how am I going to make it look good and how I'm going to make it look extra special, not just your average thing. So that's, that's a big motivation for me. It is the best job in the world for me. I can't imagine a job that um, gives so many challenges and so many rewards.